Welcome to summer semester. My name is Teresa Rich and I'm going to be your introductory microbiology professor for this semester. And I wanted to give you a tour over the Blackboard site so that you can see where everything is. So let me share screen with you. Okay, when you first come into Blackboard, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, the default is to come to the um, Mastering Microbiology page because that's going to get you to your e-text for the semester. You don't have to pay anything. Um, you do need to do the Read Me First and it'll walk you through how to get started. And then after that, you can find um, the e-text here where whenever you want to come and read the textbook. Now. The next thing I want to show you is the announcements page. So when you click on that, you're going to see any announcements that I have. So um, you will see my welcome announcement, which is coming in an email, which has this video attached. But uh, after this week, I'm not going to send the announcements out as emails. So I would suggest Monday through Friday that you come in and you check the announcements. Okay. Over here under faculty information, there's a link to email me. There's also information about me, including my office hours when they are, and a link to join me by Zoom during those days and times. Okay. If uh, Tuesday and Thursday from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. do not work with your schedule, email me and uh, we'll see if we can't work out a time that works with both of our schedules. Okay, scrolling back up here, over here we have the syllabus and schedule link. And once Blackboard stops thinking about it, here we go. The first thing you're gonna see is the online syllabus. This is a good thing to read because it's basically a contract between me and you, okay? If you wanna see it big, you can click on this to blow it up so that you've got the full screen, easier to read version. And if you want to download it, that's an option in this download, uh, this um, menu. So download a copy. Below that, I have a detailed schedule. Let's go ahead and blow that up big. So here I've got um, uh, things that uh, will constitute the lecture, things you need to read, go over, that kind of thing. Um, here are the assignments for the week and then when they're due. So for this first week, they're due this Thursday by 11.59. If for whatever reason you miss these assignments, you do have a second chance to do them next week or from Friday through next week, um, but you need to email me so that I know that you're actually in the class and participating, okay? And then for weeks two through eight, all the rest of the assignments are gonna be due on Friday. So you look here for the assignments, here for the lecture, here are things that are good to do, study aids, study hints, that kind of thing. All right, let's come back over here. And then at the bottom, I have grading details. So this has all the assignments broken out with what points you will get for each one. Um, any policies I have, for example, we've got four exams this semester. I will drop the lowest score of the exam, of uh, the four exams, okay? And so on and so forth. I also have extra credit listed here, okay? So that's the information that's in syllabus schedule. We're already familiar with mastering microbiology, but if you ever want to come back and find the link to the e-text or anything like that, then you would click here. Over here, I have lectures and assignments, okay? They are broken out by week, okay? So here's the, the information that I want you to have for this week. I'll generally have uh, something here explaining what we're going to be doing for the week. Now, when you click on that, you're going to see this menu over here, and this is going to look a bit intimidating, okay? It's not intended to be, but I realize there's a big old long list. Here's what I suggest that you do. Go ahead and start at the beginning, okay? 
breathe through the, the weekly objectives and due dates. This gives you an overview of what we're going to be doing this week, okay? including assignments and the actual dates that they're due. And then I would go up here to the page, advance, and you click on that, and it'll walk you through each of these folders in order. Okay, and that makes it a little less intimidating. Now, the menu is good because say you get through these first uh, few items and then you go take a break, you know, you go to work, you uh, take care of a child, um, get something to eat, that kind of thing. Instead of starting at the very beginning, you can jump ahead to where you left off. Okay. Now, let me explain some of what's in here. Um, each weekly folder has the weekly objectives and due dates. Then I will have week one lectures, and there'll generally be two folders. I did not put the getting used to uh, Blackboard and Serago and mastering microbiology in a separate folder, but normally I will put the information for each chapter in its own folder. Okay. Then after what I think of as the lecture elements, okay, so there's going to be things for you to read, videos to watch. Um, after that, then I have the assignments for the week. So I'll have directions. So for this week, I have kind of a welcome because it's the first week I'm introducing you to the assignments and what you're going to get out of the assignments. Then, um, then I have, um, uh, let's see, I've got the welcome twice. Okay, then I have the beginning of the assignments. So some of them will be uh, like this one where you just go in and you do it. Others, when you click on it, there'll be directions followed by the actual assignment, okay? And then below the weekly assignments, I will have um, study aids. These are completely optional. You don't have to do them, but I highly recommend them. Uh, they are ways of helping you study most effectively, okay? Now, if you've taken science classes before and you're pretty confident you can skip these, but I do have them there just in case. Now for this week, I would highly recommend going over the study tips, okay? You don't have to, but they'll be very, very helpful, okay? Now below lectures and assignments, I have study guides, okay? These are guides to the information that are gonna be covered by exam. So for exam one, I have helpful hints or what I consider to be the most important things in chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three, which is what's gonna be uh, covered on the first exam. Um, so it's, I uh, have the study guide set up as a, you need to know this, you need to be able to do this, okay? So here's a link so that you can get to the study guides at any time. I strongly recommend reading through the study guide um, as we start the first chapter, okay? So like you would read through the study guide and see what you need to pick out for chapter one, which we're gonna be covering this week, okay? So once we finish with uh, exam one, then I would suggest reading through exam two and use it as a guide as you go through chapters four, five, six, and seven. Okay, hey, below that we have my grades. So you're going to see the assignments with their due dates, okay? And then over here, once it's graded, you're going to see your score here. So this is the possible points. This is gonna be your score. Now you'll notice with some of them, I have a rubric. This is a grading rubric that I'm gonna to use to grade the assignment. So you can look at that at any time. And then once you have a score, say for the, um, uh, say for the library badge or Sarago check one, um, once you have a score, you can click on that and you can see my comments. You can also click on it and see your submission, okay? All right, over here we have tutoring and writing support, which is always very, very good. And then at the end of the semester, the course evaluation will open up. 
Um, I do offer extra credit for filling in a course evaluation. I use those to improve the course from semester to semester. So yes, it is a bribe. All right, and that's it. So uh, once again, my name is Teresa Rich, and uh, I'm here to guide you through the fascinating world of microbiology. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I can be reached by email. Um, I'm going to be out of my office this summer, so eh, don't try calling my office number. Email is the best bet for getting a hold of me, and we can set up a Zoom meeting or we can correspond by email. And um, I'm looking forward to a very good summer semester.